Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, trailblazers and trailblazerettes, welcome backstage, where I, your humble host, break away from the usual bombastic design gazette and epic story recaps to talk about, well, whatever's on the mind. And in my mind, today is the topic of crossovers. Now, before, this topic might have been unimaginable, taboo even, but after the announcement of a free limited five-star character, it has become pretty clear that Star Rail is Hoyoverse's favorite child, at least right now. And as such, we can actually freely discuss what Genshin players can only dream of. Okay, maybe I'm being a bit facetious, after all, they did get Aloy, but that's not the only reason why the topic of crossovers is relevant today. Because despite being the favorite child, Tharyl is generally less popular than Genshin, and as such, will eventually need a boost in player base. And if there's one thing I know about marketing, it's that crossovers always bring in new players. You only need look at the success of Smash Bros, Multiverses, or any mobile game. Hell, I myself would never have become a fighting game fan if it weren't for Noctis in Tekken 7. Needless to say, fans will follow their favorite franchises no matter what medium they're in. And this brings us back around to the idea of crossovers in Star Rail. And today, I want to talk about 10 potential crossover franchises that Honkai Star Rail can collaborate with in the future. With the video title out of the way, let's see how we're going to do this. But before we get into all that, I as a YouTuber must commit some YouTubing and remind you to like, subscribe and comment down below so that the almighty algorithm might hear my prayer. Now, the way Star Rail's story is set up allows for almost anything to be crossed over into the universe. Hell, Wealth is technically already a crossover character, but we still need to set a bit of ground rules before diving in, and hence, I'm going to be using two main criteria when picking out these IPs. The first one is that it must be relevant. You don't usually have crossovers with franchises that are dormant. So as a parameter, the other party must have something coming up within the year, be it a movie, anime, or video game. The second criteria is that it must be Eastern. Star Rail is an anime game, and you preferably want to have your target audience be an anime-esque audience. You only need look at Genshin Impact to see the spectacular failure that was the Horizon Zero Dawn crossover. So don't expect John Marston to shoot the shit on Pentagoni. And with that, let's get into the first collab. Zenless Zone Zero. Now, this is the first and most obvious slot because it fits the criteria to the T. Coming out in 2024, it is made by Hoyoverse themselves, so they don't even have to worry about licensing issues. Hell, they could knock it out overnight if they wanted to, as they can just directly import character models and repurpose already existing animations for turn-based ones. And if you think this isn't easy, just look at the countless mods and MMDs already made by amateur creators. It's actually pretty surprising why they haven't done this cross-promotion already between Honkai Impact the Third and Genshin, as the former could use that boost in player base. But I don't really expect that to happen until after Genshin wraps up the Celestia story, simply because of how popular it is. And even then, don't expect your favorite, but rather the more popular characters to come on through. Now that the obvious is out of the way, let's throw you a curveball. Told you it'd be a curveball. Published by Sega and developed by Ryuga Gatoku, Yakuza follows former Yakuza members Kazuma and now Ichiban, who become entangled in various criminal and dramatic situations to say the least. Now, on the surface, Yakuza might look like a soap opera crime drama, but really, the series is absolutely bonkers with the amount of shenanigans you can get up to. Plus, the characters really get to grow on you. It's one of the more popular Japanese game franchises, and with a new entry releasing soon, I know for one, Sega isn't shy when it comes to collabs. As for how Hoyoverse will go about implementing this, it's actually become relatively easy thanks to Yakuza Like a Dragon, because RGG switched over to a turn-based combat system in that game. But more than that, I think the Yakuza fan base are just some of the most dedicated fans you'll ever find, and it'll be really fun to have them along this journey. Now, we all know I had to choose a mainstream newcomer of an anime for this list, and it was pretty hard to choose between this and Chainsaw Man, which has a very similar vibe. Honestly, you can substitute either or, but I chose Jujutsu simply because I just finished the second season and am now suffering PTSD. Now, you could straight up create new character models and animations for our favorite sorcerers, 
but I think the smarter implementation of this crossover would be via skins. Star Rail has yet to introduce character skins and collabs are usually the perfect opportunity to do so, as you can make faithful to source material stuff without expending too much dev resources. You can have Itadori Trailblazer, Kugisaki March and Fushiguro Danhang skins for the main trio. Similarly, you can also pull off the same thing with Denji, Power and Aki from Chainsaw Man with the too good not to miss opportunity skin of Kafka Makima, which would probably make so much money it would top any banner sale. <laughs> Recently, I got into the series because of Grand Blue Fantasy vs Rising, the fighting game, yep I know it's a mouthful, but the Grand Blue series has a pretty extensive history to its name, starting off as a browser game and expanding into anime, mobile, manga and even an upcoming action RPG. It's gacha, it's turn based and all the characters are pretty snazzy looking, making it fit like a glove onto Star Rail. And seeing the sheer amount of media Grand Blue collabs with, it would be the perfect game to have a cross collaboration with. This will give side games a chance to implement Star Rail characters into their game, giving us some slick illustrations in their iconic style. And it seems I'm not the only one who likes the art because people are crazy about it in Japan, and I suspect the upcoming action RPG will only get it more popular in the West. Speaking of things a bit popular in the West. <laughs> Bleach has been making a comeback for some time now. With a new game on the way and the latest season of the Blood War arc, Bleach has a fan base which spans nearly two decades at this point, and many people fondly remember it as part of the Big Three. I originally wanted to mention One Piece as the anime crossover, as it is one of the biggest animes that Star Rail could ever collab with, but I will go with Bleach instead because of just how utterly stylish it is. Tight Kubo's art is just magnificent to look at, and honestly for my own taste in style and fashion, and it would be pretty epic to have a super where Ichigo finishes off enemies with a BUNKAI Devil May Cry is the definition of smoking sexy style. DMC follows the adventures of Dante, a demon hunter with supernatural abilities as he battles demonic forces to save the world from various supernatural threats. I love this series, and I know for a fact Hoyoverse loves it too. I mean, half the characters are basically just Virgil's children. So seeing how Netflix are releasing an anime this year and Capcom just love their crossovers, I think it would be the perfect series to bring onto Star Rail. Leaving aside the cool character designs and skins, it would be pretty exciting to see what sorcery the animation team over at Hoyoverse can do given the endless sea of moves that is Dante. <laughs> I don't think anyone is expecting this little Korean manhwa to blow up the way it did, but blow up it did, and I suspect will only become even more prominent thanks to the upcoming video games and anime adaptations. Though it might break the lore a bit by having the solo leveling guy in a team making game, but the potential summoning necromancer mechanics could be fun to play around with. Personally, I think animations and game mechanics are the only way you can get creative with this collab, because if I'm being honest, the character designs are not very… unique. I mean, at this point everyone looks like Sun Jin Woo. But still, knowing Hoyoverse, they will probably figure out something to make the man look comically overpowered. You know, going into Spy X Family, I thought it was going to be nothing more than this light-hearted slice-of-life comedy with a spy twist. But after finishing the first episode, I realized... I had just found my favourite anime, so this one might be a little bit biased, but there is a good reason for it. Spike's Family recently released a movie and there's also the upcoming video game, so it definitely is relevant, but more than that, I think Spike's Family is just a very universal kind of story. Whereas Chainsaw Man and DMC are a bit more niche, Spike's Family is something that everyone can enjoy and in my opinion holds the potential to bring in a lot of fans, kids and adults alike. Plus, it would be fun to see your beat the shit out of aliens. <laughs> As an iconic legend in video games, Final Fantasy is one of the most deeply fleshed out franchises and is known as the father of fantasy RPGs. So with 7 Remake Part 2 coming out, I think it's only fair that Hoyoverse tried to collaborate with one of their biggest inspirations in order to bring Cloud Strife into Star Rail. 
The original FF7 was turn-based, and the new ones also have that cool ATB mode, so the transition to Star Rail should be pretty natural and smooth. I know Square can be a bit cagey when it comes to these sorts of things, but it's worth the dream, because these are some of the most iconic characters in video game history, let alone RPGs, and if you want a guaranteed hit crossover, you invite Final Fantasy aboard the Express. <laughs> Leave the best for last, they say, and I have certainly done so with this final entry. Persona 5 is arguably the poster child of modern JRPGs, but let's not forget the game that made it all possible, Persona 3, and it is getting a remake this February, which I am so stoked to play. Persona has everything you want out of a Star Rail crossover. It has a combat system with elemental types that can slot right into Star Rail, it has compelling characters whose chemistry is bombastic, not to mention a sick ass soundtrack that you can't help but bob your head to. It would not be a stretch to say that there are a lot of elements of Star Rail that are inspired by Persona, and recently the Star Rail team did visit the headquarters of Atlas, the makers of Persona, and Shigeneri Soijima, the lead artist behind the Persona series, drew Mark 7 for them. So now my hype levels have blown absolutely beyond the roof, because now there is a real possibility that there is a Himiko Mitsuru skin out there! Okay, I might have gotten a bit excited there, but the point is Persona has a real possibility of coming to Star Rail. Or it could just be metaphor. And that is my list of potentially really cool crossovers we could have in Honkai Star Rail. Be sure to like the video if you like the video, comment down below on some of the crossovers you would like to see in Star Rail. And for more of me, the Star Rail Crusader, be sure to subscribe down below. The Ron May video is currently in the works and should be out within the week, so stay tuned for that. And I would also like to sincerely thank all of you for joining me on this journey. We just hit another milestone of 2000 subs, which is absolutely crazy. And I will work to meet your lofty expectations, my dear audience. So until we next meet, may you get to play your favorite crossover. May no one discover your favorite hentai folder. And may your journey lead you ever starward. <laughs>